2010 Texas Tech Keys to Success, broken down right now by Nick. Okay, offensively, just going right into it. Uh, not expecting them to throw the ball quite as much as they did in the past years that Mike Leach was their head coach. Seeing that Tommy Tuberville uh, having a career with the SEC kind of ran the ball a little bit more. Baron Batch getting the getting him a few more carries during the game definitely won't hurt. He's a solid back. Um, hits a hole and he just goes. Don't give him any space or he'll run all over you all day. And quarterback wise, um, Stephen Sheffield's probably going to get the starting role over Taylor Potts. Um, Stephen Sheffield he proved himself last year. I mean he stood he uh, he stood up when he needed to. He uh, rise to the challenge and put up some points whenever he was in the game, uh, except whenever he had that broken foot against Oklahoma State, but pretty much a guy that's been sitting, waiting to run the offense, and now he gets his chance, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do. Receiving-wise, um, Detron Lewis, Austin Zuzalik, Lyle Leon, Tremaine Swindle, um, just Alex Torres, another guy, um, just guys that know how to make plays once they get once they get the ball. I mean, Texas Tech's always been an offensively minded program with the air raid offense, and they just get people that know what to do when they get the ball. And uh, I expect Texas Tech to make a bunch of big plays through the air again, as well as big plays on the ground, like I mentioned earlier with Tommy Tuberville, kind of changing up the offense a little bit. Um, Definitely going to run the ball more than Tech has in the past. So I know I just basically repeated myself, but I really want to stress that issue to Tech fans. No, their offense will not be the same. Definitely more running, less passing. There will still be passing, don't get me wrong. Because if Tommy Tuberville just basically went to an all-running team, a bunch of the players probably would. I don't know. But anyway... Offensively, offensive line lost Brandon Carter. That's that's huge. That's huge. Um, they they kind of have a newer line. People that haven't had starting experience. They are returning. Excuse me. They are returning two offensive linemen that started last year. So I'm interested to see what the line can do. A couple years back, they were the biggest line in the NCAA. So. Offensive line, pretty big deal with the offense. So I'm interested to see how how the newer guys mold into the offense. Um, defensively, transitioning to a 3-4. Brian Duncan, Bront Bird, Colby Whitlock, those are the three guys in my mind that are playmakers that need to step up in order for this transition to work. Many people are projecting Texas Tech this kind of to be a transition year, but um, like I said, I was talking to Marlon Williams last night, and or not last night, a couple nights ago, and I, I just realized how much talent this team has. I mean, it's it's mind-blowing. I'm probably looking at 10-2 and two because I have them beating Texas at home just because Texas, they lost quite a bit. And so I have them beating Texas. Oklahoma, that's always a tough game. The home team has won in the past, I think, four meetings. So if the tradition stays, Oklahoma will win that game. I'm a little worried about that. And like I said, defensively, Brian Duncan and Bron Bird, Colby Willock have to step up. Frank Mitchum at safety. Uh, Cody Davis at the other safety. Corners, uh... Just uh, three, four. That's such a huge transition. Um, defensively, there I expect them to be better. They got a new defensive coordinator, so and new offensive coordinator. So I'm interested to see what those two guys bring to the program, as well as Tommy Tuberville. Anytime you get a new coach, there's always some excitement. So I'm interested to see what goes down this year in Texas Tech football. Like I said, ten and two. Who are those losses to Oklahoma and 
I'm not saying they're going to lose to A&M, but I'm a little worried about that because of the way they just played last year. Kyle Field is always a tough place to play. Um, they haven't had trouble playing there, though. Uh, the past two times they've played there, they've won. So I'm not too worried about... I guess I'm worried, but I have confidence. So basically, 10-2, and two, I will get in more into depth in the schedule in a two-part deal. So basically, yeah, keys to success. Get the ball in the hands of Baron Batch and the playmakers on offense. Steven Sheffield probably going to have a huge year. Um, Baron Batch, like I said, I know I'm a broken record, but Baron Batch, you can just build off that guy. You can feed off him. He's just that good. And, yeah, basically, defensively, like I said, I cannot stress it enough. Linebackers and defensive line have to step up in order to make this transition to the 3-4 work. So basically that's it. Um, like I said, I'll come at y'all with the Texas Tech schedule video, and hopefully they play well this year. I mean, I expect big things. Like I said, they got a bunch of talent, a uh, bunch of returning starters. Um, not much of a rebuilding year like many people think, or at least I hope not. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Be easy. Later.